2022 Champs Sports National Championships with Sadie Englehart, sophomore from Ventura High School. Tenth officially at this race. How did the race go for you? What were your goals coming in? Yeah, I had high expectations for today. Um, obviously, I knew um, with a couple of setbacks I had during the season, it wouldn't be very easy. Um, but yeah, I think I think even with uh, how high my expectations are, I'm still happy with what I, where I placed, um, especially because it was a 10 second PR on this course and um, it was a five place P or place difference from last year. So uh, yeah, I'm very I'm very happy with it um, and excited to get back into the next season. So being on this course last year. Uh, knowing a little bit about it, what did you feel was going to be the toughest part of the course? What was your plan coming in? Yeah, obviously, everyone anticipates that hill. Um, it's it's very hard, but I think Mount Sac has prepared me a lot for that. And uh, even though kind of it doesn't really prepare you for the rolling hill part, just because there is so much downhill at Mount Sac, but um, I think just the hill aspect of Mount Sac is really helpful and um, great preparation for us. And I think it's an advantage for the so West. You're okay with the region being. Outside. Yeah. People say, oh, yes. Mount Sac, that's terrible hard course. No, yeah, I think, I think honestly, if you know how to run Mount Sac, it's it's a great course, and um, you just kind of determine how hard it is uh, based off how you run it. But yeah. As far as coming in, you mentioned in the sense you've been in this course before. Uh, first mile, what's going through your mind? How did it feel? Yeah, I it felt a lot better um, than last year. I think I was winded by the 800 last uh, last year and I was just super mentally um, negative last year so I think yeah coming um, by the mile was such a huge switch for me I was like this is how it's supposed to feel um, but then yeah once that hill hits you really are struggling a little bit but uh, yeah I think I think I did a lot better on that aspect what you said you learned last year from this race and I know it just finished but what have you learned about yourself from this race this year yeah, I, I've learned uh, just to be, or to have a lot of perseverance, um, except, uh, especially, um, like I said, with the setbacks uh, that I had this season. Um, and yeah, I think even with that, I was 10 seconds faster than last year. So I think I'm at a good place. And, yeah. Touch on some of those setbacks. Uh, well, number one, I was sick. Uh, and then I was sick again, and then I was sick again. So it's kind of just like, rounds of sickness ever since the week after Woodbridge and then it ended like mid-November so would you say you're prone to sickness or is that just this year I have no idea I'm usually not getting sick that much um, but I don't know I think it everyone's saying like on the internet that, that like our immunity is like gone I don't know something like that just because we uh, haven't been in school for right. a long time and the, the masks are gone now so yeah all in all, how do you feel about today? If you could describe it in a couple of words, how do you feel about today's performance? Uh, gritty, um, <laughs> hard, <laughs> uh, and just, I'd say special, just because uh, of that improvement from last year. What? Satisfied or not satisfied? I, I don't know. I think I should be satisfied, um, and in some senses I am, but... Uh, obviously, you have high expectations for yourself, and when you don't meet them, it's a little disappointing. But I think I think I'm happy with today. I'll just uh, yeah, just look forward to the next season, as I said before. All right, thanks so much, Sydney Hart, 10th this yeah. year at the Champs Nationals. Thank, Thank you very much. You.